hi everyone welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by so in today's video i'll be showing you how to make a very simple little girl's dress so this dress will be having a round neck in the front and a deep v at the back it will also be having belt and it will also be gathered at the lower part if you're interested in learning how to make this watch till the end of this video and don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're not subscribed already okay so the full length of the dress is 24 inches but for the upper part which is the half length is nine inches but i have here nine and a half inches half inches for sewing allowance to attach it to the lower part of the dress so and i have there the front and the back as well so this one inch here is for zipper allowance for the back piece okay so let me start placing measurements so i'll place my shoulder measurements first i'm working with the shoulder measurement of nine inches where i do is four and a half I'll mark half inch for the shoulder slope. I'm working with a neck width of two and a quarter inches. I'll connect my shoulder slope. I'll mark the round arm hole divided by two. My round arm hole is nine inches divided by two is four and a half. I'll mark five inches here. So I'll get the midpoint of this arm hole. I'll get the midpoint of four and a half. For the front arm hole, I'll come in by half inch. I'll place my body measurement on this line. So I'm working with a body measurement of 21 inches. Divided by four is five and a quarter, but I'll make it five and a half. And then to that five and a half, I'll be adding one inch sewing allowance, making it six and a half. I'll mark the same six and a half here. So I'll connect this half inch to this line and then create a curve to meet the body measurement for the front. Then for the back, I will just mark here. I will not be going in by half an inch. I'll just follow this, this major line here. I'll just follow it and then just curve it and connect to the body measurement as well. So let me quickly do that. I've marked both the front and the back arm holes. What I'll do next is to mark the, uh, the neck lines. And for the front, I'll be using two inches for the neck depth. And for the back, is a V neck and I'll be using seven inches. So let me quickly mark all that. Two inches. For the back, I'll measure seven inches. And then I'll connect from this line here to the seven inches. So the half length or the upper part of the body is just nine and a half inches, which is what I have here. So I'll just trim off for the back piece and that's all. So I'll cut this out now, but what I'll do is just to cut out the front neckline, the back armhole only, and then just trim off this part. I'll remove this front then and cut out the front armhole, okay?
so this is the front and this is the back i'll place the both of them online and cut out exactly what i have here so let me quickly do that so i finished cutting the lining and what i will do is place the lining on the front piece like this i'll do the same to the back but i'll, I'll start with the front so i'll take the machine and sew in quarter of an inch round after which i will notch it and after notching i'll top stitch okay i'll also do the same to the back take it to the machine with lining on top of it this way sew the back like this after which i'll top stitch so let me quickly do that too. So I'll take it to the machine and top stitch this way on the lining side. So I'll do that to the back as well. To the back, I'll sew this way down. So let me quickly do that and show you what next to do. So I finished top stitching. This is the front and this is the back. Okay, the back. So the next thing to do is to take this back piece to the machine, the two of them. So what I'll do is to close this zipper side. And how it looks okay it's relaxed here unlike how it would have unlike how it would have looked if you did not sew it the way i just showed it wouldn't have relaxed so the next thing i will do is take this to the machine and i'll join it at the shoulders i'll place it this way fabric to fabric and lining to lining so i'll make sure that i match it at the middle here i'll match it here and then join the two shoulders so i'll do the same to the left and the right shoulders okay so let me quickly do that and show you the, the next thing to do so this is it i did the same to the other side and what i'll do next is to iron this open it's very important for you to relax so i'll iron this open So the next thing I'll do is to close up these sides. So I'll just take it this way, the front side facing the front. And so I'll do the same to this side and to the back as well. And after that, I'll close up this side. I'll close it up. I'll also close up this other side. And as mean the dress is a sleeveless dress, I'll also take it this way. This way. And so, so that I can close up the armhole. But I will not be closing up the armhole today because this dress is not a sleeveless dress, okay? So I'll just close up the sides that I showed you, the lower side, the lower part, the sides, and just leave the armhole open, okay? So let me quickly do that. So I have done that, and this is what I have. I'll set this aside so I can cut the belt and attach the belt to it and then close up the sides, okay? So let me just set this aside and show you how to cut the belt. So I got fabric of 13 and a half inches by two inches. The length of the belt should be one and a half inches, but because I left the half inch, I'll be using quarter of an inch to sew this side and quarter of an inch to sew this other side. So that was why I left half inch for sewing allowance. So I measured one and a half inch from the edge of one side of the fabric, one and a half inch. And then from the beginning, I slanted it to that one and a half okay and then i'll take this to the machine and join the two sides join it join everywhere then turn it out and iron it properly that's just it. so let me quickly do that and show you how to attach the belt to the dress so i'm done sewing the belts and what i'll do now is to join the the upper body i'll join the two sides using the one inch sewing allowance that i left so but before doing that i'll place this in between and i'll also make sure that i leave out half inch here for attaching this to the lower part of the dress so i'll place it like this like this and as i'm sewing i'll just sew it together i'll do the same to this side i'll place this one this way and also sew. so i'll do that and come and show you what next to do so i told you guys that the length of the dress is 24 inches so what i have here is 15 and a half inches i'll be using the half inch to attach the to attach this to the upper part so 
I, if you subtract 29 uh, inches from 24 inches, you'll be left with 15 inches, okay? So this is for the lower part. And the, the amount of fabric that I have is three times of the body measurement. Or you can choose to use two times of the body measurement. You can choose to use three times of the body measurement. But also put into consideration the thickness of the fabric and also how light the fabric is. The lighter the fabric, the more, the more volume you need so that the gathers or the pleats will be full. So what I will do now, I've already hemmed this and i also have lining i will go and hem the lining as well the lining is slightly shorter than the fabric okay so i will pleat this to the body to the upper part of the body to show you what next to do okay so guys i've attached the belt and the gather to the dress i've also lined it i've also lined the dress okay so what i'll do next is to attach a zipper to this dress so i'll sew from here down to the point where the zipper will start and then i will attach the zipper to it and come and show you okay i'll just come and show you what well, the next thing i'll show you is how to cut the sleeve and then i will finish up the dress so guys this is the dress and i've attached the zipper i have attached the zipper to the dress so what i will do now is to cut the sleeve for the dress so let me quickly show you how to cut the sleeves for the sleeve, I have this fabric that is 4 inches and I'm using double of the round armhole measurement. I measured the round armhole on the dress and it was 11 inches. So what I have here is 24 inches, okay? And what I will do is to measure the length of the sleeve is 3 inches. What I need is 3 inches, but 1 inch is for sewing allowance. So because I'll be using half inch to attach it to the shoulder side and one half inch to hem it. So I'll measure 4 inches four inches and then i'll come to the edge here and measure one inch is the length of the sleeve here for this part but i'll measure two inches because one inch will also be for sewing allowance so i'll measure it this way and then i'll connect from here to here and then i'll just cut it out okay just like this you can just go this way whichever way you want just curve it so i'll just curve it So I'll take this to the machine and hem it. After hemming it, I'll gather it to the round, I'll gather it to the sleeve. So after gathering it, I'll show you how it looks, okay? So guys, I'm done attaching the sleeves and this is how it looks. This is the finished look of the dress. Can you see the V neckline at the back and the curved neckline in the front? This is the belt and you can make your belt longer than mine. So for this sleeve as well, you can decide to line yours if you're using fabric that is lighter than the fabric that I used. I did not want to line this because the fabric I used is already strong. I didn't want it to be so stiff. If you're using a light fabric, do well to line it. So I hope you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching up until now. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? I will attach a picture of this dress on my thumbnail so you can see the finished look properly. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!